Hello, I'm Brett Lonsdale from Lightning Tools and I'm here to show you how to connect to Salesforce from within inside SharePoint. In order to do this, we're going to use Business Connectivity Services and BCS Metaman, the Lightning Tools product. BCS Metaman is a Windows application and it can be used to configure connections for external content types to almost any external data, allowing you to use Business Connectivity Services out of the box with data sources such as OData and you can also use it with ODBC so there's data source such as MySQL and DB2 and also Oracle. We can also connect to Microsoft SQL Server and WCF Web Services. So within this demo we're going to connect to Salesforce and what we have is our username and password for Salesforce set along with the gateway consumer key and consumer secret which can be obtained from within inside Salesforce that allows us to go and connect to it from the outside world and we've also got Secure Store configured, allowing us to send across those two levels of detail for each user, along with the username and password that is going to authenticate with Salesforce. Once we've set those details, we can click onto the Execute button, and that will bring back any tables available to us with inside Salesforce.com. So the Salesforce.com tables we're going to connect to are Account, which I can simply drag and drop onto my design surface, and I'll be able to set the methods that I want to use with inside my external data, which include the finder method, the specific finder, which returns all the data or a single row. And then we've also got the creator, the updater, and deleter, allowing us to write back to the data as well for with inside an external list. We've also got the ID enumerator, and that will allow me to index the data should I want to search it. So once we're happy with that, we click on to create. I can drag other tables across onto the design surface as well. click on to create, and then build an association which is effectively a join, allowing us to see the related data from the inside SharePoint. So in this example, we just set the uh, ID for the primary key and also the account ID for the consuming uh, key of the connection. And um, once we're happy with that, we simply click on to create and then hit deploy. And that will deploy my external content type to SharePoint and that is all the work we need to do in order to get data into SharePoint from Salesforce. So once we've done that you'll be able to access your Salesforce data like I can here inside my external list which is showing me the Salesforce tasks and I can do both create tasks, update tasks and delete tasks from within inside the Salesforce environment and obviously we can go through and style those as well. Okay many thanks for watching.